crazy, man. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to This Is It Podcast. I'm your co-host, Corey Roy, along with my partner in crime, Hollywood. What's up, brother? What's going on? Oh, shit. I'm spilling Uh-oh. shit. <laughs> and then I'm worried because uh, motherfuckers just uh, caught, probably caught the air where I was like, I thought it was penis. <laughs> <laughs> so you just came in with that. It was a whole other conversation. Phallic what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. What, which is, what's the word, Phoenix? It's phallic. 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 Phallic? Never heard it's of that. He said that's the medical term for dick. Yeah. I said I thought mm-hmm. it was penis. With penis shaped food. Yeah. Though. That's so what that's I thought the it word was. That is, is it specifically for penis shaped foods? No, it's just anything dealing with. Anything dealing with the male genitals. Okay. Uh, I never knew uh, that. And I yeah, took you know, um, psychology of sex in college, and I don't remember them saying that. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that was a good class, too, man. It was like just, I was just a bunch of females in the class. And I was just I was just soaking it all up, man. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> man, what's going on? Okay. What, you, what you got going on, man? You got that black, that energy, or what? Oh, you asked me. My, the shit yeah. went out, man. No, I'm sorry. Oh, my shit went out for a second. Well, but I'm back now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got that black that energy, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, this will be one of these shows. Yeah. It'll be, oh, a, a folly of right. fuck-ups. Let's, let's, do a, let's do a little rewind. So, I'm your co-host, Corey Roy, <laughs> along with my partner, Crown Hollywood. What's up, brother? <laughs> no, much, this boy, Hollywood DA here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just ready to jump into today's uh, topics, you know, as far as this, this Suicide Squad, we're about to see see how, how it's going and what's jumping off of that, so I'm excited. Yeah, man, same here, man, and as always, uh, my partner in crime, Phenom, what's going on? Yo, Phenom202 here, yo, man, I, I chop my hot dogs up when I eat them, yo, so, <laughs> kind of really that, but, you know, that's just me, yo. that's just me. But yeah, no, nah, Suicide Squad, man, I'm ready to jump into it, man. I, I you know, we, we talked about this over the summer about what and what movies you were looking to looking forward to, and this was one of them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm ready to get yeah. to it. Yeah. All right, man. Well let's do it, man. So um as uh Phenom said, uh today's show we're gonna be talking about uh, Suicide Squad. This movie is uh kind of like a soft reboot or a do over to the original Suicide Squad. So this is called The Suicide Squad, and it was directed by James Gunn, the same person that directed Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, and is also signed on to direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So um, we're just going to get right into it. So Suicide Squad, I this movie came out probably like a week and a half ago. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give a little quick jump for me. Look, I'm just going to say right out, I, I did really enjoy this movie. Um, but, um, uh, before I do a deep dive on why I enjoy the movie so much, I'm going to pivot to my man, Ollie, to see you seen the movie. What were your thoughts? Did you enjoy this movie? Oh, I definitely uh, enjoyed it. It was, uh, I mean, we'll get, you know, as you said, we'll get into it a little bit later, but as far as like er- everything, like the acting was good. The script was good. It was funny. had action. Uh, it was a little seri- uh, silly. It was, it was kind of out there. This goes, this go around, but it all worked. <laughs> it all worked. You know what I mean? So. Had yeah. some surprises and, and everything, so I was like, "Oh, oh, oh!" a few times. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it, yo. I mean, it's definitely made up for the 2016, even though I, I didn't think it was that bad, but it stepped up on top of that. <laughs> I definitely think so too, man. It's leaps and bounds, well over the uh, original Suicide Squad that came out like three, four years ago. And James Gunn, you can really tell he j- he just knows how to make this work for us to like a rogue. I mean, not a rogue, but a a, 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 a bunch of characters that I've never even heard of before oh, yeah. or might have showed up once or twice in a comic book and make us really enjoy them. I mean, this guy really knows what he's doing. But before I get too um, deep into the details, Phenom, man, what about you? You've seen the movie. What were your thoughts? Did you enjoy this film? I did, yo. Um, and at first, I thought the, the script was a little clunky at parts. Mm-hmm. But the overall action, I mean, I was with it. You know what I mean? I, I loved it. I, it was, and think like Ollie said, Two th- the first one wasn't that bad, in my opinion. I understand why people shit on it so much. It oh. wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't great, but it was yeah, it was okay. palatable. I mean, I watch it when it comes on TV. You know what I mean? Just to see what's, <laughs> what's up with it. But 
But no, nah, this one, I I, I'm not going to front. I was kind of iffy about the, the starfish. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how they're going to incorporate the starfish into this, but it made sense. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. definitely enjoyed it. All right, that's what's up. I mean, yeah, I, I can see your, well, I'm going to disagree with you. The first one is trash. I cannot watch that. I, I just can't. I, I just can't watch it. It's just so bad. Everything about that is, is from beginning to end. I mean, but you know what? If, if you enjoy it, it's your cup of tea. That's cool. Not my cup of tea, but I really enjoyed this one. This one, uh, for me, I thought was just great. I thought the story was good enough. Um, I actually thought the story was great. I thought the action was great. Clearly, the actors and actresses, they are giving it their all in this. I mean, everybody from Amanda Waller all the way to Margie, Margot Robbie, uh, Idris Elba, everybody is giving it. And one hold thing on, I did Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't saying nothing about my man, though, Corey. Who? Polka Dot Man. Okay. No, you can't see me. You can't see me, man. Say what? Say <laughs> what? John Cena? Yeah, yeah. He's a national treasure, yo. He, you said it yeah. right today. He, he really does give it in this, man. I, I got to give it up, man. John, John Cena does a great job. Um, but there was a lot more graph. It was a lot more graphic than I initially thought. I remember walking into the movie theater and watching this. I was like, whoa. I didn't know it was going to be so graphic right out the gate. But it didn't take me long to, for it to settle in. But um, it was definitely a lot more graphic than the first one. Um, what did yeah, y'all feel yeah. about the graphic? Did y'all uh, did that throw y'all off? Y'all were okay with it? I mean, I was cool with it. Um, I mean, I'm, I mean, you know, um, black dad energy, bad parenting <laughs> sometimes <laughs> go coincide. Because I know yeah. people was like, yo, yo, yeah, this isn't a kids movie. I mean, it's rated it's R. It, it was it was rated R, right? Yeah. I guess it was rated R. Thirteen, yeah. but it actually was rated R. Yeah. Yeah. It was rated R. Okay. Cam watched it right along with me, yo. And he oh, liked it too, Jack. so I was like, fuck it. I ain't <laughs> care. I was like, it has some curse words and all that, but shit. It, I ain't it never, never heard before. You know, it definitely did, especially when, I mean, we're going to go into the movie now, especially when uh, Bloodsport, a.k.a. Idris Elba, uh, y'all remember that moment where he's, he's finally meeting his daughter? And they're mm -hmm. going back and forth. I mean, they throwing the F-bombs like crazy, yeah. yo. I mean, that... That I really enjoyed that part though. I thought that was that was funny as hell. But um, let's back up. What did y'all think of Amanda Waller? Um, wh her character. Um, what did y'all think and how she was portrayed in this? Like I thought. Um, well, well, just let me know you guys thoughts. What do you think about Amanda Waller in this film? Amanda well, Waller. You need to tell, you need to tell okay. me who the fuck she is. <laughs> Viola Davis. Well, though. Oh, Amanda, oh, Amanda right. Waller, black woman in charge. Uh, 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 Damn, you don't six. call her. We don't call her as Viola. Like, Viola. We don't call her by that damn. We call her by our government. Government. We deserve that shit. <laughs> yeah, it was played by uh, Viola Davis. So, um, what were your thoughts on her portrayal of Amanda Waller in this this film? I mean, yo, around here, yo, she's Wala Davis, yo. She's a superb actress, yo. <laughs> she, she, she has so much range, yo. I mean, from yeah. from the help. She plays somebody's maid to yeah. to being a professor at uh, the the shit on ABC. How to get, yeah, how to kill, get away from murder? How to get away from murder? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. she can rock it. She can rock it for Evans Afro man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. More to Evans Afro man. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, no, I think she, I think she does a good job being being a mean person, yo. I mean, like she <laughs> yeah. got to be that way and that type of that type of environment. You you, you got to save the world and do shit and cover up your misdeeds, yo. She the person mm. for you. Yeah, I definitely like yeah. her, yo, because she's about that business, yo. And she, on, I like her because she, uh, she be around the uh, the criminals and all that. Not mm -hmm. a, not a, a hair sticks up or I, don't, I can't even think of anything. <laughs> but she'll be scared of shit. No, How about she, her? I'm just not, like I'm trying to think of some <laughs> witches. I ain't got nothing with you. She ain't scared of shit. She be over there like whatever. Like you don't yeah. do this. Oh, you, mm -hmm. or, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna kill everybody you love. Yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yo, right. <laughs> You I mean, but that, that's that's how she is in the comics. I mean, in the in the comics, she's not afraid of any of the superheroes. Like she'll stand up to any of them. Like I'm not afraid of any of you guys. And that one part, I mean, look, uh, uh, Viola Davis kills it in this role. I mean, she is playing the hell out of this role. She's not even on the screen that long. Yeah, but that's what she should have played on the screen. You're just so invested on every word that she is saying, and she is giving it her all in this because 
there's that one moment near the end of the film where they decide to go back and save the town and she's yelling at them to stop. Man, she is giving it her spit flying out of her mouth and her eyes are turning red and shit. She's like, yep. motherfucker. <laughs> like, yep. He is giving yeah, it. I, yeah, if there was one critique about this movie, uh, I mean, it might be a couple more, but I would say I wish they would have gave her more screen time, you know, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. she can yeah. definitely carry it. You know, she's she's character. great at that character. Yeah, she's phenomenal as that character. But even that moment, like her <clears> not <throat> showing up, she she is unfazed with these criminals because when Bloodsport threatens her with that pen near her throat, she doesn't mm-hmm. flinch at all. Yeah. She doesn't even flinch. And oh, that moment where she's telling them to stand down. Oh, that I was like, yo, play that part over and over again. That's some grade A acting. 1,000 right there. And she only said two words, yeah. stand down, but she looked like she's serious. Yeah, but, she, she, but she know, yo, I mean, like, yo, she she built for that. Yeah. yeah. She comes across sure. and she know, she know what the deal, yo. She know what the deal, Yeah, yo. Yeah, I feel yeah. you, man. We, we got some comments, man. Um, So let's see what uh, people are saying real quick. Viola Davis put her foot in it. Man, I, I love to see more of her in, yeah. in that environment, like in the TV series where she just wrecking shop and doing work. Yeah, she put her foot in it. She is the true, def- true definition of Amanda Waller. Mm. I, I agree, man. And she, yeah. she's, uh, she does whatever she needs to do to get the job done. The fact that she sent a throwaway squad. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was, that was, fuck, that was <laughs> fucked up. That was fucked up. <laughs> but yo, she, put, she put your boy flag in, in, in harm's way, though. Cause she, yeah, she's yeah, like, she don't, fuck, she, she don't give a fuck about nobody, yo. Nah, yo. That's that why her... Like, her, her and Peacemaker get along, you know? Because he's like he said, he like he all about the whatever he has to do for peace. If it's a, a million dicks on the beach, you totally <laughs> eat them. He says, I'll do it. No problem, oh. <laughs> but they all about getting the job done, you know what I mean? So Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true, man. And um, okay, so we, we got some comments coming in here, but that yeah. throwaway squad, yo, I felt so bad for them because at first I was like, I there was a couple of people in that squad I thought were going to make it, but James Gunn did not oh. pull any punches. So this was called the Suicide Squad. Cast was going down early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, early. Early. so. And there were some characters in there. What about that one character, man, that with the detachable arms and shit? <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> oh, TDK. Uh, the, the, yeah, TDK. the detachable kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit was so retarded. I was like, that yeah, was I should threw his ass away. Like, yo, I knew that dude was gone, yo. I mean, he detached his arms. Like, what are we going to do, smack people with him Hold and up. shit? Like, they were shooting his arms and his body was moving. Like, oh, oh yeah, because that shit probably feel that shit. That shit was so hurt. That shit yeah. was crazy, yo. That shit was crazy, yo. But uh, let's get to some of these comments real quick, see what people are saying about this. <laughs> Plus, she don't give a shit. When she don't blink in front of Batman, that lets you know that she don't give a shit. She is not intimidated whatsoever. That character is S tier. She don't yeah. give a fuck. Facts. And, see, and I will say, like, uh, what's crazy, um, you know, it's always the Marvel, DC toss up versus versus. So she just set the bar. So I want to see what uh, my girl, Julie, Julia Rifus, whatever, what's her name? Elaine. I don't know her real name. Elaine. Oh, yeah, V. Something. Yeah, V. How she got to carry it. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, Back- Sorry, Val. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's Viola true. done. She done. She done set the bar. Now, now Louis on the Marvel Mark. side, what's she gonna do? You know what I mean? Because she's, she's kind of supposed to be kind of cutthroat too. From well, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know the comments. Just from the few interactions I've seen with her on mm-hmm. screen, it seems like she's kind of about the business too. So we'll see how yeah. she handles it. Yeah, yeah it, it, that's going to be good because in the comics, Val is she's not as ruthless as Viola Davis, but she's about getting the job done and she's kind of what you can could say a double agent like she dances on both sides so you never can really figure out really if she's for you or not because she's always got her own agenda so it's going to be interesting to see what Val do in the Marvel Universe show for real yeah. uh, alright so let's go we got a couple of comments here anybody that thinks that that movie sucks must not like movies it's probably the first time you watched a movie in a long time if you think that movie sucks <laughs> artistry what's going on man um well, we're wondering if the movie sucks, but it's for you guys to, you know, chime in to see if we think the movie sucks. 
Um, I don't think the movie sucks. I think the movie is actually pretty good, actually, you know. Um, so it seems like you like the movie, too, man. And that's, that's what's Yes, up. I definitely do believe. Artistry love that movie from the way that he <laughs> was talking. So artistry <laughs> with your smooth, silky, silky voice of... For late night radio, why don't you go on and no. leave us a comment? Tell us how you really feel about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we got another one here. When that shark man started eating that motherfucking man, I said, "Oh man," he said, "Num num, yeah, num num." <laughs> <laughs> yo, now yo, so that does a part, yo. The shot, the shot, the shot was actually pretty good. I mean, oh, yeah. I'll focus, yeah, I'll focus yeah. Sylvester Stallone, yo, but yo, he did a good job on that shit, yo. Dog, don't say Sylvester Stallone needed to get a job with that shit. Like he ain't had to I do mean, shit to say bird. No, I mean no, <laughs> like, but yo, I mean like <laughs> no, James Gunn did a good job of writing that character. He did. Yo. <laughs> like that's Sylvester Stallone has, all that, that, has that voice though, yo. He's that because I was slow ass boy, right. like, bird. That's not that's Sylvester See, Stallone, yo, like Rocky. Yo. It, exactly. See, I'm going to agree with both of you guys. James Gunn does a good job of bringing that bullshit character. Well, I don't want to say bullshit, but a character like King Shark to life and writing the right material. But Sylvester Stallone still has to bring that character out in his voice once he's actually saying the lines. And I, I love the way he portrayed King Shark. Just his voice when he was like, num, num. No, you know, I mean, it was did. great. Y'all, y'all, y'all get grew the fuck so the, in, this, in this room. I'm not saying all that. Grew, like I said, I was the the fuck. Fuck. No, it's slow. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but either way, though, yeah. the shark, the shark itself, though, uh, it definitely it was, was great. Because okay, I was wondering, I was, yeah. like, I was like, I don't know, because but I did watch the Harley Quinn, uh, the animated series. It's funny exactly. as fuck. So yeah, he's up there, yeah. but I just didn't know how mm. they could really carry it in a live action, you know, with li- mm. real people, how it was going to come across. Yeah, but he yeah. got it. He, they nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I want to see King Shark. I want to see the shark uh, more because his character, and I'm not going to lie, they fooled me quite a few times in this movie because I thought his ass was gone about good three, four times, yo. <laughs> but he must have got Teflon skin because that dude yeah, he got to He, he got remember when he got yeah, yeah, he got hit with the yeah. building, and then when the people <laughs> started firing on him at the end, I, I thought he was done, yo. And then the uh, the little fishies were eating the fuck out of his skin that one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, with a shit, bro. So, yeah. But yeah, that's that's the power of a director such as James Gunn. He's, like, keeping us on the edge, like, this is Suicide Squad. Yeah, he next, but he really wasn't, you know. But, yeah, give me more King Shark, yo. I love King Shark, man. I think Sloss alone killed it, man. I'm with you, Phenom, on that, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Corey. Right. Thank you for having my back. Yeah, man. Sure, yeah. See, we got, got another comment here. That motherfucking weasel at the end went to go eat the rest of them children, boy. That village better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that character right there, I ain't gonna front though. That shit, it was two creepy parts in this whole movie. Two creepy characters. It is. <laughs> that fucking weasel <laughs> and that rat lady, yo. I don't fuck with nah, that. No, nah, I thought Polka Dot Man was more, he freaked me out. Like, I was seeing his mama everywhere. See, I mean, I like, yeah. the thing about that is, when you when you when when I saw Polka Dot Man, yeah, it looked weird, but the rat lady, I don't fuck with rats, yo. Like, in D.C., yeah. you see rats and mice and all that shit everywhere. That shit yeah. in your yeah. house, it don't matter. You got to clean this house in the, in the, on the block. They still going to find a way to your motherfucking house. <laughs> That's fact. I, I don't with fuck with rats, yo. I fuck with Rat Catcher, yo. I mean, she might have fucked with rats, but her ass was fine as shit. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can have a rat yeah, and a rat. Uh, so, that, that, rat so that's the question, shit. yo. So could you, uh, I know we all, I always get this disclaimer. We all happily married. Everybody. But if it came down, who's back in your single life, yo? She she, she was pretty, I mean, she, she was easy on the eyes. Man. Easy on the- could you date? Could you date her? Like you came to her crib and she just waved <laughs> one. All of a sudden, the rats like start bringing uh, food on the on the table and shit. <laughs> you got motherfucking like, ratatouille and shit. Yeah, oh. ratatouille, like a little rat hat with a chef hat tilted to the side. Yeah, little rat. Uh, catch the fucking bubonic I mean, plague in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, for God, real. I ain't with rats, man. Yeah, that, that you right. I don't know if I could do that, yo. Damn, that'd yeah. be tough. For real, yeah, rats yeah. do be having that dumb, dumb plays. You're right. You got you get that 
It's like, how Corey going? Problem. He got that black cough. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> like, what yeah. That Spanish, black that play, Spanish yo. flu. Yeah, I know. The Spanish flu <laughs> took him out. They was like, yo, what that shit? Spanish, like, 1912? Yeah. Like, fuck with the yeah. rest. <laughs> they be like, well, how did it happen? Some damn rat fed him some chicken. You know? Yeah, like, I know, for <laughs> real. Yo, that's how COVID came about, yo. Fuck with bats, rats, and pigs. Like, like you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but you couldn't, yo, even, but you couldn't leave my ass, though. Yo, if you break her heart, yo, you be on. Oh, no. She got yo, that, she control every fucking rat in the city, yo. You I know. Yeah. You summon all them damn rats. I was like, yo, that's, that's a hell of a way to die, yo. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, that that was man. He was getting uh, Starro was getting ate from the inside out by the fucking rats, yo. Yeah, that was so, crazy. Yeah, that, yeah. I don't like rats. Tell that shit was kind of like. He yeah, got to come in, up in, 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 work, in, 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 in a in a real city though, like in a, a major metropolitan area. How many mm. rats? It's probably a couple of million rats. Oh like, my for god! Real, for real. It's, yeah, if you got to somewhere like New York, rats than people. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like somewhere like yeah, for real, yeah. it's probably like it's in the tens of millions. Uh, you know, yeah, I think, think how many rats it is. She could overrun New York in a second. All she got to do oh, is yeah. flash that on, yo. And for real, I mean, that's 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 no doubt. Yeah, that's you true. Know, New York's got them big ass rats. Some motherfuckers run up on you with a pair of Tims and a fitted. Like yo, yo, be. <laughs> Dead ass, you know dude. what it is. You know what it is. Yo, you finish that piece of crust. <laughs> like, give it, give it the goods, nigga. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with the rats, yo. Yeah, I, 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 well, you know, yeah, I feel you on that. Uh, all right, we got another comment. Let's go. Just keep to keep this going. What's good, gentlemen? So you guys have been on for a little bit. I haven't, I haven't Dang. seen Suicide Squad. I don't know shit about it, and. I don't plan on seeing it. It's not my cup of tea, you know? I know that everybody's into that whole franchise thing nowadays, but I don't know, man. I, I've read the comic books of Suicide Squad, and it's completely different from what they created on movies. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and that's that's the thing about this. You know, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You know, I was not interested in watching the first one either, but I was like, you know, let me check it out just to see what they do with it. But once I and I would not I was not going to watch the second one of this until I knew that James Gunn was going to do it. So that was my only reason for watching this. But, you know, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that it's just not your cup of tea. But, hey, James, always glad you're tuning in, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yo, zombie, yo, hit me up, man. I'll give you my HBO Max uh, shit, yo. But don't, <laughs> I can't say that. Yo, scratch that. I ain't say that. <laughs> watch the movie, yo. Hey, watch the movie. <laughs> But you know, this movie was a little bit more campy than the first one, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I said this movie was more campy than the first one. It was more, it was funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I thought Boomerang, Boomerang would have more of a uh, impact in this. He died in the first first ten minutes. Hey, (laughs) yo, yes, sir. Captain Boomerang took that L. He took he took the L. I know we kind of basically. My bad. We just kind of basically went off the re- recap train, but it don't matter. Yo, everybody seen the yeah. movie. We, y'all know we like the movie. We talking about the movie now. Yeah. But yeah. Um, mm-hmm. as far as like characters, like how he, uh, you know, I mentioned Captain Boomerang died. Like Pete Davidson, that's the name, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sign that so. dude. Not that loud, yo, he yeah. died. Yo, he died. I was like, what the hell? Like for real? I thought he was gonna be in the movie. Yo, he died before I, he was like. I was like, what the f-? like? He died like, early. Really? His name yo. was uh, Black Guard. Never heard of that yeah. character before. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you got, the, kept, got a light skinned nigga playing black, black guard, yo. I know that's how you know how it is. <laughs> Politics, Hollywood. <laughs> but uh, just in general, like they, he definitely was killing off folks. Like you said, you know they have oh a third one squad. Like the way they yeah. killed off folks, I was like, oh snap! And and again, yeah. I'm not deep in the comics, so I don't know. Like, I guess everybody in this movie is like a D list, D lister, C C lister. Mm-hmm. Hero, but at the same time, it's just like yo, they just kill these motherfuckers off. Like yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll never need you in the franchise ever again. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you ain't yo, they got rid of they ass early. Like what's the they other kill, guy? They that, can't kill Michael Rucker, the dude that. that yeah, was that, that's exactly like at the beginning of the movie. They show him. You know, getting that, the shit in his neck and going out. Like, here's the main like, yeah, character. Like, here's the main character. Yeah, man. He's like, yo, fuck this. He said, nah, that won't no sucker shit. Like he yeah. knew what was going on. Like dog, <laughs> what should he could y'all could do? Like, like, oh, stand there. I'm like, yo, fuck this. I mean, 
You yeah, know what I'm saying? I think up, you know. I think he figured it out. It's like, yo, she set us up. We just diverged it. I, he's like, I ain't gonna survive this shit anyway. He panicked. But yeah, they were killing off like characters like early. Like I didn't even know one of the guys. Um, I just found out uh, what's the guy's name? T D K. He's supposedly yeah. the guy that played on like um, skulls or bones or whatever the hell the character that played T D K. I mean, these are some pretty top oh, notch bones. Like, like I, the I think so. Bones? Yeah, I think the, the character oh, that played T D K. I never seen bones. Hold on, man. Uh, they they got rid of some big time characters. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah. you know you know it's a money grab. Time. Like we yeah. talked about it yesterday, we was talking about uh, F nine. Yo, if you in this movie, it's a money grab, yo. You, I mean, it's gonna be. It yeah. is what it is. I mean, it's always yeah. good to be like, yo, I was in, in I was in a uh, superhero movie. You know what I'm saying? Take your kids. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, look at Daddy was up there with Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they was like, they was like, I ain't make it past five minutes, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I was there, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but you know, going back to uh, this whole throwaway squad, man. Um, I just found out the detachable kid was um, Nathan Fillion. Like he's he's it a was? pretty big actor. Yeah, that's the dude from even... Firefly. Yes. They, oh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Nathan Fillion was the detachable kid, but he had the mask on, and the way I he did his so. acting, you couldn't even tell it was him. So I mean, it was it was it was dope. I'm about man. to go back yeah. there and look at that shit again, yo. Yeah, it, but it was Nathan Fillion. I only knew it because I saw it in the credits near the end. And the, and and who would have known that the Weasel would have uh, lived after all that shit? <laughs> yo, the Weasel, that was fucked up though. They was like, nobody think the Weasel could swim. <laughs> they were like, no, know. they dropped his ass in the ocean. It was like, yo, fuck it. Like, <laughs> yo, that scene went on for a minute. Like you gotta really yeah. think if you drowning, a minute is a mm -hmm. long time, yo. Even in the movies, yeah. a minute is precious. So they really filmed yeah. this dude to drown it for a minute. Drown it, yeah. yeah. Crazy, yo. I was really funny. I was like, damn, man. They ain't even check with you, Weasel. Uh, they ain't Weasel's even eyes, big rat, yo. Fuck, them. Fuck that. I know. But like I right. said, he got, he, got, he got the last laugh. His ass jumped up. He's probably like, yeah, I'm about to go fuck yeah. these kids up. Yeah, like, <laughs> yo, like Artist you said, yo, out there. For, Artist you said. He won't, he won't safe no more, yo, them kids, yo. Yeah. <laughs> but, yo, what y'all right. think about... Um, Oh, go ahead, Corey. Go with the comments, yo. Let's, I, I yeah, yeah. Here. We got we got a lot coming in here, so okay. Let's yeah. go through these real quick. You know, I be getting high, and I was high when I watched that movie, and right when I saw that rat girl, man, I said, I know her pussy stink. <laughs> 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 no. no, that's I'm a great comment because I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, that shit got to be crazy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's a <laughs> Lights yeah, and all that, that shit, man. Mm -mm. Oh man, uh, you go, you <laughs> going down <laughs> with the pillow. You need that yeah. pillow, pen, penicillin <laughs> shot before oh, and yeah. after. Give me that COVID, that, that Johnson and Johnson, that Moderna, <laughs> that Moderna. All that you got, you got to go. Oh, yeah, give me the pillow, pillow you got too. It. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> yo, give it all, yo. What you got? Rabies, scabies, fucking yeah. bitch. <laughs> oh, man. all right, we got another comment here. <laughs> Shit, there is a man in Akron, Ohio. I promise you, baby. He really do. He is the rat man. Like, you, he'd be surrounded by rats. You'd be like, well, how the fuck they go to him? He'd be feeding them, like, crackers and cheese and doing what he wants and shit. I'm like, how the fuck he control him? Mm -mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nah, yeah. No, I, I've seen the motherfucker, like, on one of them, eight, uh, on one of the hoarders that little rats, you know? Like mm. they had the animal hoarder joints one time. Yeah, yeah I was like a dude. Oh. He had a whole house full of rats, yo. And he would like they would just crawl up on him and everything. He was feeding them. I was what? like, yo, this dude is wild. And, oh, yeah. like, yeah. he loved the rats. He loved the rats, yo. Mm. That's, That's crazy. Disgusting. Yeah, that is. Wu Tang, right, Wu -Tang love the kids. Some people love the rats. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> 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 you ain't even need to do all that, Ollie. I got it. I got myself some HBO Max, the Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, Voodoo, Google, fucking Chrome, and shit. I got it all. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, there it is. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, here we got another comment. Oh, let's make sure we get to that. I also noticed that John Cena wants to be The Rock so bad. All right, so this, rock, is good. this is good. This so is good. Let's, 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 let's get to it, because Phenom has been a John Cena enthusiast. <laughs> if you know me, yo, I really Backer, don't. Backer, upper. I, 
you know, if you're watching me on YouTube, yo, you know, you can see my back, my background and shit, yo. I don't really care for white people like that. No disrespect to white people, but I love my people. But I love John Cena, yo. John Cena is my man, yo. And th that's the thing about it is, yo, John Cena is one of them dudes that he's showing his range right now. And he stole the show. I mean, him and Edge's album was going back and forth. Their chemistry was great on, on uh, scene. Yeah. When they would talk about how they could one up each other, and then they was killing people. <laughs> yeah, they killed the yeah. villagers, yo. The, they uh, killed the, the rebels. Village, yeah. They killed the, yeah. re the rebels. That shit was that was a funny scene, like how they were doing it because they were, they were definitely trying to one up each other. It was like, ah, ah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Look, <laughs> look I, I'm capable for John Cena. I think he will be good, man. And that's the thing, like he he was so like funny in the movie, but then there was a certain mm -hmm. part in the movie where he turned. Yeah. Sinister, and you like, yo, yeah, because at first you look at him, he's talking all this good shit, like, yeah, I do anything for democracy and, and, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he said, I do anything that anything turned from like jovial to like sinister, yeah, and, you know, yeah, you understood he was about that business, like, he was about to kill the rat lady, mm -hmm. and then you know, oh, yeah, he was, he oh, to yeah. my man Flag, yo, I mean, I didn't think that was gonna happen, but I didn't think that was gonna happen, yeah, either. I was surprised they did, I was surprised they off them, yeah. yeah. Yeah I, yeah, I thought out of all the people, that was probably the most shocking kill for me was the off and off, uh, off and Rick Flag in the suicide. Because I, I like Rick Flag as a character in there, you know, kind of being that militant guy that, you know, Amanda Waller has out there. I mean, but I didn't think they were going to kill Rick Flag, man. And when he killed Rick Flag, it was like, damn, that dude really yeah. serious. Like, for real. Yeah, yeah, I don't because around. That's right. Look at that scene when he stabs him the first time with the concrete, he hurts him, but he doesn't kill him. And he actually hits him again with the, the the next his other arm, and that's when he pokes him into the heart. It's like he, it, 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 yo, he once he fully turned, it was like, oh, this dude is serious. He about finished yeah. in business, and and he said it. I'm thorough, like I don't care. So it, yeah, it was, he, I think I, I think he cares, but he knows he has to do so. I didn't think he really wanted to kill him. I didn't think he wanted to be the man that killed Rick. Flair. I would agree with that. I would agree with but that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because right? he, but it's like he didn't want to kill him because he liked him, but he knew he had a job to do, and that's what he just does. Yeah, go yeah, ahead, Oliver. No, I was gonna say, but yeah, Cena versus Rock, it's gonna, it's gonna happen soon, sooner yeah. or later, it's gonna happen. And that, uh, I guess with the wrestling, I mean, they acting every day for three hundred days out they of do. the year, like yeah. three sixty five. They all yeah. acting, so some of them are good, some of them are bad. But if you're decent, you get all them the reps in. So they definitely mm -hmm. picked it. Picked up both of them. Picked up, uh, you know, the acting ways. You know yeah. how much money the they will make the if they did a movie together. Yo. Emotion. You, oh, yeah. you know how, how much money, money they make. Or they get that shit would be that shit would oh. be bananas. It's gonna be a black. Like, they, they could do a fucking buddy cop movie. They could do a, a mercenary movie. They could do all type of shit to mm -hmm. make coin off of that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree, think man. They need a little comedy with it. They if they did like a comedy movie, I think it'll be. Like action comedy, because mm. both of them could be funny, and both of them. Right. I think actually, actually, I think John Cena is funnier than The Rock on camera. Like yeah, he, he delivers his jokes better. John Cena in this movie to me Cena. really is John right. who? John who? No, I said it again, John Cena. <laughs> 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 he really showed his range in this movie. Like he went from having them comedic timing, like oh man, y'all all remember the, the, when the uh, King Shark wants to uh, eat the girl, and then Bloodsport, or Idris Elba comes out and shoots him, right? And then they all run to the tree to see what happened, and John and his body bodies. Yeah. Yo, he's crazy, yo. In the woods, yeah, yo. Yeah, in the woods, and Idris Elba says, why are you sitting here in your tidy whities And John <laughs> says, hey, man, that's just racist. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was funny. But like that comedic timing is just like that's the, you know? he was like he's like starfish. That's a, another word for asshole. He was like, he, like he said the asshole. Whatever, whatever the fuck he said, I was like, yeah, this dude wild, yo. Yeah. yeah, but I thought John Cena did real good. I'm trying to make sure I say that right. John Cena did real good, and I, I hope uh, with this peacemaker movie that they got coming out, I hope they don't. Go too serious, like they need to play both parts of it. Like I, I hope they don't make yeah. him like, mm. like a serious like I'm a mercenary. I'm here, whatever. He needs to have his comic relief too. Yeah, but, you man, know, what about you? but what kind of movie you think is going to be though? I mean, like for him, would, he got to have a, 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 a he got to be the villain, and somebody got to be the hero. Mm. Well, I think he's going to be the hero. 
You think, think so? so? Think about the anti-hero, like the anti, bad, where they go, you know. So yeah, he because really, this is going to be very interesting on how they set this up because he ended this show as an asshole. He's a villain at the end of this. So mm -hmm. how are they going to turn the table for us to do a whole series on Peacekeeper? And I'm really curious how they're going to do that. So my thought is is that he's going to be like the anti-hero, like he's he's going to be a bad guy that does good things from time to time and eventually maybe he'll start to get a conscious i think he's going to start off bad and then somewhere along the line he's going to start having that moral compass where he may start to dance the line and, and be kind of like the anti-hero that's that's my but see, thoughts but see i don't think he's quote unquote bad like he isn't crazy like psycho right. he is a psycho right. but uh but sort of He's just about the mission. So it all just depends True. on the movie. Like, whether he's a bad guy or a good guy, it just all depends on the mission that they give him. You know what I mean? True. That's true. He's just that's true. Like, uh, Waller, this whole thing is just like, I, we just want to complete, like, the mission because mm -hmm. I'll do anything for peace. Mm -hmm. I'll kill right. a million <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> for peace. Like, you know, kill him yeah. for peace. Like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? So whatever right. the, the mission that they tell him to do, he's just going to do it. So it right. really, it all just depends on the mission that they give him. Mm -hmm. So Good you, point. you think Paula's going to use him as a pawn, being that she saved him, or you think it's going to be like a prequel? You think it's going to be... What do you think? Well, I don't think it's going to be a prequel. I think they saved him for, so they can line him up for the next movie, and it's just going to be him going on a mission, and she's going to send him out, and he's mm -hmm. going to go out there and do his thing. He might tell little jokes here and there. As long as they don't send him nowhere for the kids, it'll be all right. Yeah, I don't want yeah. to see him shoot up, I don't see him shoot up the kids, but, you know, he might. Yeah, yeah I'm, I mean, gonna, I'm really might. interested on how they do this, too. Too, you know, like is, is Amanda Waller even going to be in this uh, upcoming series, or is it just going to be those two? You know, like I, I just don't know how where they're going with this, but I'm I'm curious because I got to give it up for John Cena, man. He he did a hell of a job. He did a hell of a job. Um, we got a couple comments that I want to get to real quick, if you guys don't mind. Uh -huh. See what people oh, are yeah. saying. All right. Yeah, T D K was played by Nathan Fillion. He was the guy who played the Fly, Firefly. And yep. he's on that TV show, The Rookie, that's been on uh, ABC the last few years. Yeah, you know, he mm. worked with James Gunn for a long time. So, yeah, that was crazy. I see him taking out real fast. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't even realize it was him until I saw the credits at the end. I was like, oh, my God. That's mm. how many people they just got rid of, man. It was it was yeah. crazy. But good, Bruce. Got a couple more here. Oh, let me make it up right there. All right, hold on. Yo, John Cena got a movie coming out with uh, Lil Rel Howery. I think that joke gonna be hilarious. Ah, uh, Lil Rel. Rel. I focus with Lil Rel. Lil yeah, Rel, have y'all seen that trailer? I was Pretty on the trailer. Yeah, um, they, well, I guess because I did go to the, I actually went to the movies to see Suicide Squad instead of watching on HBO Max. So prior to that movie, they, they dropped that trailer out. So yeah, it's it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's a comedy, basically. It's, it's comedy. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It's uh, the premise of the movie is uh, Rel and his wife go on a honeymoon vacation. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the trip yeah. for that. Yeah, that's what it is. And they wind up thinking they're friends for real, and they come find them when they come back to the states to hang out. And it, it's fucking hilarious, man. So I'm, I'm John Zeta doing his thing, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ain't explain so, shit about that trailer. All right, you I ain't see you, it. You, you, I'm saying you, I saw it. He was like, yo, they came on. Oh. No. <laughs> you, you went on vacation, right? You meet a couple right. on vacation. Y'all kicking okay. with them the whole time. You go Keep back to where you, where you from, and they follow you back. And they, they follow you back. you didn't really want to party with them, though. They was wild. Oh, who, who, which one? Cena's following him, or he following Cena? Yeah, John Cena's doing some, you know, like, drunk white boy shit. And him, he got a girl. Right. His wife went was doing drunk white girl shit. And they turning up. At a family reunion or a wedding, it was some kind of get together. Yep. So they crashed yeah. a get together and they was acting wild and all that stuff. And, yeah, and they know. tell everybody, like, yeah, this is my friend. And the guy's like, yo, I just met you on the honeymoon. Like, we not friends. You know? so, <laughs> yeah, man, you oh, know. Yeah, how, funny. You know? So it's it's, yeah. it's pretty it's pretty hilarious, man. It's pretty hilarious. So uh, it just goes to show John Zena. He's he's got some stuff out there. Right, we got another comment from looks like Tony Don's. Why is stereo? Come on, stereo. All right, hold on. God damn it. Man, Stereo, we give y'all... Ain't nobody gonna say that Idris Elba sucks in movies like this. Just like he sucked on The Office. He gotta stop making these movies. What? I, I, I respectfully disagree 
Well, I'll, let y'all, I'll let y'all tell you. If I say something, he's going to be like, he's just a hater. So y'all get him. <laughs> I actually like Edge's album in this, yo. I Me mean, too. Like, he, he played the role he's supposed to play. Yeah. You know what I mean? He played he a hell of a role. I thought yeah, it did but, really good. I thought everything like how we were just talking, like his interactions with Cena and every. Like, I thought he did good. Like the yeah, even, like the joints with him on Viola. You know him. Mm-hmm. The, oh, I don't want to be a leader, but you know, eventually he turned like all. Mm-hmm. I thought it was all good. Him with the rat lady, like yeah. everything yeah. he had to me, he did good. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm like I don't know, man. Maybe you just ain't like his costume, Tony, or something. Nah, you know, Tony don't, don't he don't like British people, yo. But that's what <laughs> it is. Honestly, that's what it is, yo. Yeah, he, he, he like he like it just album since the why he thought it just album was American. Yeah, was yeah he once, he, once he found out he was British, yo, he hated that cat, yo. He was like, like I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That was like one of the biggest reveals in, in the world, though, yo. As for why fans, we we found yeah. out he was British. Everybody was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Everybody, like, yeah. Everybody, I was like, yeah. yo, you British? <laughs> what was his name on the why, yo? Real quick, it was um Stringer Bell, yo. Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell. Yeah, I mean, he had that American. I mean, he killed it. But anyway, when people found out he was British, yeah, that was like the biggest reveal in the world. That's what it is, man. Because, Tony, I got strongly disagree with you on that, my brother. Uh, it just killed it in this movie. Uh, as Bloodsport, his interaction with John Zena, his, girl, every time his, his daughter. Green, I keep saying John Zena. Every, I'm going to laugh every time. I don't give a fuck. Like, Finn on this mess let you go. I know. I, I, my bad. I can't help it. My brain. I just can't get that Z out of my damn head. Um, every time he was on the screen with John Cena, it was great. Um, their, their interactions, their banter back and forth. I mean, yo, when he was talking to Viola Davis in that one scene in the beginning, I mean, come on, yo. I mean, I don't yeah. know, yo. You, you definitely hating on him. Maybe he won't wearing Jordans in the movie or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's all it was. He had a pair of LeBron's on. He had a pair of LeBron's on. Tony freaked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to another comment. Let's see what we got. Yep, it's true. I don't really like British people in, in the accent. <laughs> Nailed it, yo. Yeah, we knew it, yo. That's what it was. They don't pronounce, I don't understand how they got get, they get deemed proper English. They don't even pronounce all the word, letters in their words, yo. Like, they don't but say door, they say Daughter, like you don't. Know, how's that proper English? You know what I mean? Speaking, that's just. That's, yeah, I'll bet you Tony over that, yo. But go ahead. Yeah, it's it's the accent, man. But they, I mean, they got all the best yeah. actors, yo. They got all, they, all of them because they all they all get all this the, the stage plays and this and that. Yep. Like there's yep. so many British actors now all across American TV. And yeah, movies. it's like unbelievable. You, like all these motherfuckers not- is British. Because not only are they acting, they're vocal acting at the same time. That's hard to do. Vocal acting is so good that you don't even know they're British until they do an interview on a, a TV talk show. Yeah. People are like, holy yeah. shit, I didn't even know he was British. You yeah. know, that's so, the thing. Uh, like, even with, with the black community, half, like, when these black snowfall. people. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, yeah, Snowfall, you're right. Yeah, half of Snowfall is British, yo. The mama's yes. British. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like your I boy mean, British, like, well, go ahead, my bad, Finn. So I was, nah, no, what I'm saying head. is like how how black people like so like the uh, the shorty that played in like uh, she played Harriet Tubman. Like people yeah. was mad at her for playing Harriet Tubman because she ain't yeah, from here, so she don't know nothing yeah. about Harriet Tubman. What? Same thing with the dude that played Martin Luther King is Selma. Martin the Luther King. King. <laughs> yeah. The King. <laughs> yeah, Martin Luther yeah. King. Yo. Martin Luther King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, yeah, I mean, they they feel like they still ate their jobs, but you know, mm. it is, and even though to do the play, Fred Hampton. You know what I'm saying? Daniel, whatever. Oh, yeah, from Star Wars. From World. Get Out. Oh, Get Out. Yeah, Nothing, yeah Get yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Star Wars dude. The Star Wars dude, British too. Yeah, yeah he, don't know, uh, he, he always got a British accent. John Boyega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's British. You know, I mean, me and Ollie already know what it is with John Boyega. Yo. Attack the block, yo. Attack the block. One of the best movies, yo. Oh, oh yeah. You, the block the you know, see nah. Attack the Block, yo. When the nah, aliens came and it was like, yo, Attack the Block. Nah. Yo, yo, go I watch know. it. Go watch it. Yo, Attack the Block is good, yo. That's you gotta check it out. Check it out. It might be on Netflix or something. It's on one of them. I don't even know how I watched it. I mean, well, I know how I watched it, but the FBI is <laughs> so. But, yo, you got to check it out, yo. <laughs> I have to check that out, man. But I'm with you, Ali. Uh, the, the actors from Britain, man, they're off the chain. Good. But I, you said Attack the Block is the name of this movie. Okay. Yeah. John, John, I think it was John Boyega's first. That's my first time I've ever seeing him was in mm-hmm. Attack the Block. Yeah. 
He was a teenager. Okay. They was they were saving their hood from aliens, yo. And it, yeah, it sounds crazy, yeah. but that shit was good though. It was good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what's up. Uh, we're gonna go to another comment, then uh, hit a couple more points in this uh, review, and let's see what's up. Damn it! All right, here we go. Come on now, it is obvious, man. Stringer Bell, Luther. Come on now, yeah, Luther. Yep. All the roles Good he's been playing. Uh, he should have been Bond, James Bond, a long time ago. Yo, yeah, can't be hating on no he was an album. Yeah, yeah, man, I thought I'm with you. Bond for, it was like a second, a split second. Yeah. That everybody was talking about. I was like, oh, he might get it, but then they, you know how that go. I, I honestly yeah. think he's still going to get it, but I think Daniel Craig didn't. He didn't want to give up one more Bond movie, and they didn't know if he was really going to do it until he finds like, yeah, I'll do another one. Then they reneged on the whole, you know, Idris thing. But I think Idris still got it in the bag. I think he really does. Yeah, I don't. Don't. to do. I, I don't because. Bond, because they were supposed to be the dude that played in what's the the, the hot uh, shit that all the girls was watching on Netflix, the period piece from back in the day with the black dudes. Oh, Bridgerton. Uh, Bridgerton. Uh, Bridgerton. Uh, Bridgerton. They talk about the, the black dude playing Bridget and Bridgerton. What? No, 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 no. He don't need to be buying. No, no, he can't. Black. Black. That's, that's what the scuttle is. Like, yeah, so. Oh, nah. So, they. Nah, I mean, nah, yeah, nah. British, but. Nah, yeah, they don't he, need that. Yeah, that's gonna be wild. Yeah, yeah, because Bond oh, yeah. is an agent, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you need dude, Bond. He, I had to lie. Maybe it's just the role we play, but like he, he just seemed a little soft, you know. Like, <laughs> like even Daniel, Daniel Craig. Like I like Daniel Craig as Bond. He's a good Daniel Bond, you know good, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause he just, he got night the right amount of smooth, but he still looks mm -hmm. like he can whoop your ass. Like, you know whip what I mean? <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah that dude, that still be whack, yo. Yeah, he's he's gonna have to do another movie before he does Bond. I mean, like do Fast and the Furious or something else first. <laughs> <laughs> Fast and Furious something. ten. They already announced yeah. it. Twenty three, baby. Twenty twenty three. We will be right back here at it. We going to the moon, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we is yo. That's for real. They hijacking space shuttles next. That's what's up. Uh, all right, we got another comment here. Hey, you never seen Tata Block? What's going on there, man? Oh, that shit is right. High. Plus, they're, they're doing a sequel. The director and the actor uh, collaborating to do a sequel. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I'm with that. Hey, it's on Hulu, Corey. It's on Hulu. Yeah, check it out. Check it out, man. You know, so you know it's, it's good. No, my bad, because Bruce's voice went high. Like, <laughs> like, you know, you go that high voice. She's like, hold on. Like, I'm serious yeah. now. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's when it's serious. Like, he man, right, you though. Just, it, the block. Yeah. They, they just announced in 2021, like May, May 2021. Uh, uh, they gonna start wow. Shooting. Oh, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good, yo. Because I love okay. that shit. Yeah, man. So let me ask you guys what a uh, couple of other characters in there we're going to have to touch on. Uh, we've already oh, yeah. talked about. John Cena. What about um, uh, Harley Quinn? Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. What did y'all think about Harley Quinn in this uh, this movie? I mean, Harley Quinn. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my bad. I mean, she did her thing, but she does her thing in all the movies. Honestly, I yeah. think she's like good. I mean, the Harley Quinn character and mm -hmm. the actress. What's her name? Margot or something? Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. 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 She does a good job doing it. So I, I mean. I don't mind. Whenever she's on the screen, I'm not mad at all. So, yeah, I like Bird Yeah, me too. But my, my thing is her her storyline. Like, I didn't like the, I, I didn't understand the the marriage part. Like when she was banging the dude, that that mm. felt kind of yeah. forced to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, because, you know, you thought she was going to die. Yeah, mm. you know, mm. they capture her. Then she's like, yeah, I want they clean her up so she can get married to the dude. And mm. she realized like he'd do anything to kill. He'll do anything for power to kill kids and all that stuff. So right. you can tell, and that's one part I did like because her trauma came out. It sounded like John Cena's character. Like she's a mm. funny character all around, but then there's a seriousness layer. Yeah, she's like, yo, I had my heart broken too many times by dudes like you, so I'm just gonna kill you. Mm. And so you knew exactly what you were referring to. You know, like the Joker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. Her mind switched back, like, oh, hell no. And she shot that dude right in, square in the chest. I mean, and she's like, yeah, I've had. But she embodies that character of Harley Quinn so damn good. She's Harley you know, Quinn, yo. She's Harley Quinn. We've all said it. There are certain people that have portrayed characters, and that's them. Like Tony Stark, 
as uh, Iron Man. Iron Man. That's, that's mm-hmm. him. Um, and, and Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, that's Harley Quinn. Like, nobody else can do Harley Quinn right now. Yeah, she is she definitely. Everybody yeah, she Iron kills Man. it. Yeah. yeah, she kills it, man. And did y'all know that there's actually uh, information online that she actually performed that stunt with her feet to get out of the locks and the chains? Like, she really did that stunt. Yeah, she said that, yeah. Now she said she got to take some break from acting because it took too much out of her. <laughs> I mean, that was a hell that's of a, a I'm watching that shit. Tra- translation I, for that phenom is cut me a check. Cut me a check next time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you know, bigger check. She's yeah. Like, Word. That's not it. I'm going to take a break. Yeah. That means you got to pay for this. Yeah. yeah pay it for this dope. crazy. Yeah. I love Holly Quinn, man. And I also love uh, how she just, once she finally got out of there, man, she just went through everybody in that building, man. I mean, she just went bananas. Right. But then, and I, you guys let me know, what was the whole thing about the flowers? I have my theory about the flowers, why she was fighting them. But, you know, because she's fighting them and all of a sudden there's flowers everywhere. And I'm just like, is this just us getting a, a, a peek inside her mind or when she's doing this crazy, demented stuff, but she's seeing it as not as... It's crazy. She's crazy, yo. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think you think you think it, you're going too deep, Corey. She just she's a crazy bra, yo. Like <laughs> that's true because she was trying to figure out what the fuck to do with that javelin. Like it was yeah, the, shit, the whole life. time. She like she's like yo, he gave her that last speech. She died on that. She was like yo, we got to do something with that. But no, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, with the flowers and all that, I don't read too much into that. The only thing yeah. I can read into that is you know what I'm saying that her. That's that for JJ, because crazy bras always had to get, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the good for JJ. That's it. That's the one thing I can. Yeah, she, 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 yeah, I mean, it's, look, Margot Robbie, gorgeous woman, gorgeous woman. Um, all right, so we got another comment here. Let's see what people are saying. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, honestly, just bodies it every time. Like, she was the best part of the first Suicide Squad. Um, yeah. I loved her Birds of Prey movie. Yeah. I know some people hate it, and yeah, she was fucking hilarious in the Suicide Squad, the new one. Like, I just can't stop thinking about <laughs> the Milton joke at the end, oh, where uh, yeah. you know they had to. Exp- <laughs> Who's Milton? Yeah, I no, think no, I would have <laughs> remembered if there was a guy named Milton. It's not a very <laughs> <Yeah>. common name. <laughs> she's just she's hilarious. She just I, sh- to me like her casting as Harley Quinn is like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds as yes. Deadpool. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's just perfect. Like she just gets the character, and I, I love seeing her as the character. Um, can't wait! Can't wait to see more of her. Yeah, I yeah. agree with everything he said, yo. Yeah, misfit minded, great comment, man. And you are so right. She embodies that character, but that damn part where she talked about Milton, oh, that shit was yeah, funny, no. yo. <laughs> <laughs> and this is called his elbow Milton. He's like, good job, Milton. He's like, who the fuck is Milton? Yeah. <laughs> she got the wrong room. Yeah. 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 And, and, shout, and, and we both oh, we both mentioned too, like, shout out to Birds of Prey, yo. Uh, I mean, Warner Brothers fucked them up with that shit, with that whole yeah. name so and title and this and that. Yeah. Just be like, Harley Quinn, the movie, it's just and like, let, let it run. Because I, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, honestly. I love I, first break. And I've seen people online, but again, I don't know the comments. It was like, well, such and such wouldn't act this way. Whatever the other main chick. Uh, Huntress. The singer chick. Huntress. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's uh, the, uh, the voice girl. What a uh, canary. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I think people people were, people were mad the yep. way she acted. Like they were like, uh, her in the comments is this way and that way. I was like, I don't really give a fuck. Don't nobody know who Canary is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, I and I got a little canary running in here right now. I'm sure you hear it. And, and, and he wants to tell me something. Come, look, come tell me. Tell me. Tell me something. What's up? Um, mommy gave me a talk <laughs> to join the father and and get it out. Okay, I don't know what you just said because you came in here and started talking on Starlight. <laughs> mommy gave you a what? Mommy. Oh, y'all can keep going, man. I'm so <laughs> I'm getting nosy. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if y'all can, because y'all hear, y'all probably can't even hear it, because, yeah, we got the headphones in. I can hear it. No, we can hear it. Oh, yeah. oh, you can? All right. All right, now, I don't know. That's, thank you. Mommy, Peace. No, it's bedtime, player. What time is it? Another so I don't want to get out. Well, it's a quarter to nine. Okay. 40. 
Easter Standard Everybody Time. No, he eight thirty. We try to get him to sleep. It don't really work oh, that yeah. way, but I mean, as right. obviously, it don't work that way. But. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, this is that Black Dad. This is what yeah. we talking about, man. Live and right there, live you know, that's color. That's right, lens color, right there. Uh, but yeah, man, Marco Robbie, uh, uh, mind. Uh, oh my God, I'm I've got your hashtag already. I think you said mindset blinded. Oh shit, hold on. But that was a hell of a comment, man. Hold on. Let me see if I can find. Uh, Misfit minded. There we go. Uh, That was a hell of a comment, man. So you're right, man. She really does embody that character. Um, I love everything about Margot Robbie. She killed it in the first Suicide. She was actually the best thing in the first Suicide Squad. Um, Birds of Prey Prey is freaking awesome. And she kills it even in this movie. So. Just continue to do things with Margot Robbie as uh, Harley Quinn. I, I can't wait to see her in other movies. But um, I think she's definitely asking for a bigger payday because this is her third movie as uh, Harley Quinn, and she's killing it, man. Yeah. She's fucking killing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, she's a big draw, yo. And that's the thing. Yeah. Like, the whole right. movie has she such good characters. Draw, though. I bad, mean, she's a, Harley Quinn I mean, as a character. And even man. Margot Robbie, yo. Like, yeah. like well, who that's hard to say. Margot Robbie? Why? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I can't even say that because I was like, everybody, people like Corey be like, uh, Suicide Squad, the first one was sucked, but that shit made almost a billion dollars. So you're right. My bad. It, go ahead. It did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did. Oh, go it's ahead. Like, you know. it's, like, it's like the F9 of, uh, of DC, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, but it's <laughs> your, <laughs> so you don't want to shit on F9, yo. Like, I digress, yo. That was last night. But today, yo, but like, all right, so one character that Ollie did bring up that I thought was gross too was the polka dot mm. man. Like, yeah, I had that, yeah. The yeah, dude yeah. that played the polka dot man, like he, he's always played weird shit anyway. Like, I don't know if y'all remember watching, y'all mm-hmm. watch Gotham? He was on yes. Gotham. Yes, he was. Um, he was the joke, the dude that was that sick, tried to, he dug up the Joker, tried to bring the Joker yes. back to life. Yes, yes. Yeah. So he plays these weird characters. For him to play polka dot man, it made sense. And then, I like mm-hmm. how they explain how he became Polka Dot Man. You know what I mean? Like, Me too. That's different yeah, from the thing he has. I love this information. Go ahead, Peter. Yeah. No, I mean, like, his mom was a scientist, injected him, mm-hmm. experimented on him and his siblings. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of them died, some of them didn't. And he mm-hmm. has mommy issues now. And he got to throw up every <laughs> twice a day just to get them shits out of him. You know yeah. That, that was so, crazy. Everywhere he goes, he sees his mom, which is kind of crazy. Because I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. You know? Like, yeah, was wild. That, oh, man. Like that one moment where he's in the club dancing with the girls. <laughs> yeah, that's all. all <laughs> that's all. I say like, yeah, all his mom. Wow. I was like, oh. <laughs> I just, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, was, I, I thought he was going to make it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, they kept just saying, is that contagious? <laughs> is that contagious? <laughs> 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 yeah, that shit was wild, man. Yeah. Oh, when they were in the club, like, that was yeah, crazy. like, uh, do you throw polka dots? That's what you do. You throw polka dots. Like, <laughs> oh, he does throw polka dots. Yeah. yeah. The way they do it in this movie is cool. You know, it's it's really cool the way they do it in this movie. And I thought yeah. he was going to make it. I, at first, I thought I polka dot was going to be one of the first ones gone. But once he started going through this movie, I was like, okay, I think he's going to make it. Yeah. Did he survive? And, I can't remember. Nah, did he survive? No. Nah. Oh, no, no, no. He died. How did he die? Well, right where he finally throws the polka dots at Starro and he yells at the camera, I'm a oh, fucking superhero. Zero. Yeah, that's what it was right here. Boom. Once he said that, looked at the camera, I was like, he did. And yeah. showing up, fucking starfish stomped on his ass. So that was it, yo. Yeah. But I thought he was going to make it to them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we got a... We will we'll hit back on Polka Dot, man. We got a couple of comments. People will chime in. So I definitely want to get to those before it's too late. Yeah. Hold up real quick. Ooh. Yo, I had Ali son last week. That boy got a lot of energy, man. <laughs> I'm already. Oh. <laughs> I know. Shout out, shout out to Tony. Shout out to Tony. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When, when I was out on vacay, out, out the country, uh, he looked after two of my boys one day. Him and, and, and D-Shove. D-Shove picked them up, too. So, you know, when we was back yeah. home. That's so while they was back home, you know what I'm saying, they got the chance to see the fam. So it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Now, I ain't really good. My bad, Tone. I meant to uh, 
I know Jack is hitting you up. You know, I lost my phone in the DR, yo. You know, people don't know I jumped <laughs> in the ocean with the with the phone that's waterproof, but it had a cracked screen. I was one of them hood niggas with a cracked screen. I was, you know, I was rocking it. I didn't make it. So, <laughs> that's all my good, fault. Man. All the people I ain't touched, my bad, yo. I just got the joint back last week. But, I mean, I said last week, uh, Monday, yeah. Monday night. What were you going to say while I went to the comment, oh? About what? I don't even you know. Told, hold on, man. You know, I got, you know, I got, I got, I got short-term memory loss. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to the next comment. Uh, see what we got here. <laughs> Thank you guys for the love, by the way. Um, enjoying the talk so far. Um, if I could just throw out my other favorite part of the new movie, um, our character, it was Idris Alba as Bloodsport. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I'm like thanking the gods in the heavens right now that Idris Elba finally gets a good big budget studio movie to like chew on, (laughs) like a a role, Mm -hmm. because it hasn't really worked out for him for whatever reason, and I don't think it's his fault because he's fucking great in in the new Suicide Squad, like, I I rewatched it on HBO, like, I saw I've seen it twice now, and like, just his like he's just so over everybody's shit in every scene yeah. like he's just like oh fuck <laughs> yes. jesus christ yeah. oh shit like he's just, and uh like how margot robbie's always cheery i thought he had like the right fucking like i'm just yeah. done with this team attitude um and like he's like the the one that has the biggest arc in the whole movie thought us back so yeah and like like Mr. you said in the beginning Corey, like when he was arguing with his daughter like yeah. it was, <laughs> it felt like you know we've seen this before. Like we watched movies where you know the parents in jail and they going back and forth with their daughter who's in, or son in the street, mm-hmm. and they going back and forth how much they hate each other but they really love each other. He know he got to do what he got to do to save his daughter. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. So, but it was a yeah, lot of misfit in that. I liked it. Yeah, I loved it too, man. Um, and once again, misfit minded man, great comment, man. You you are right there with all of us. Tony Don's early in the show thinks Idris Elba is the worst. Clearly, he's been he, – he woke up on the wrong side of the bag. But all of us on this show agree with you, man. Idris Elba killed it. And I don't know about you, but that fucking costume is badass, yo. It's yeah. like a – Yeah, I like that. Got the egg yeah, helmet, those, sort of. Egg helmet. And his gun That's, joint. Like, you go, it go from a little gun to a big gun to a big gun yeah. to a big-ass yeah. gun. Like, that shit, he got, like, <laughs> he got like four generations of guns in that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> He'll that's pull out and be like this, and yeah. also that should be a beep. And he shoot like that one time. That shit, next thing you know, that nigga got that shit on his on his fucking yeah. shoulder, like rocket launcher style. I'm like, yeah, this, the gun keep growing, you know? Yeah, yo, but did, he did. Bring, I got a question for y'all. So he did bring yeah. up a good comment about is his album. Get, what other good movies has he, or shows has he been in besides The Wire and Luther? I mean, those two shows. Honestly, it's a show I watch. I'm about to look it up, man. Uh, but, but he makes a Good point. He has never really had the big budget film. This is like really his first one. I, I think his it was on Amazon Prime. He had a joint where he was like a DJ with a little white girl. I don't say I like count. him, yo. But that, <laughs> no, well, well, but I'm I like that. It, it was like a whole series, though. I, I liked it, man. It was no, cool. I remember. Yeah, they was like at pool parties and hotels, and he was DJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, oh yeah. you saw it. So, oh, I didn't know when I saw I thought I was the only person that saw it. I was like, yeah. I thought it was entertaining, yo. Yeah, but they did. Little little he was in but, the. Uh, t- I think was it the tower? Was him and Michael McConaughey in a movie together? Like the Dark Tower or something like that. Like yeah, yeah, he was but trying to save the world. It, it, yeah, it's got, that plot. Yeah, yeah it's that's flat. right. So they tried, but, you know. That movie. Who is it? That's Losers? based on the book. But uh, Losers, that movie. Losers, 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 uh, hey, everybody's bringing the losers back, yo. Everybody's saying, "Hey, I, yeah, all I these superheroes it. in this." They've been playing it, but. It, Oh, something uh, it was advertising, but nah, it was kind of whack, though. I, I, I mean, this, yeah, is, I the think, this but, is the biggest one. This is the biggest one. I mean, it's probably yeah. the biggest look, but uh, like Luther, but see, Luther isn't, I don't know if it's not super big over here, but, but uh, how, as I said, across the pond, uh, you know, over there in Great Britain, like Luther's big, yo. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, it ain't like he's, I mean, he is underrated, but you know what I'm saying? He gets his flowers a little bit. He pops up everywhere, so. He does. I mean, well, he even do Tyler Perry movies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to give it up. Idris Elba has put this work in, so he's con- You know what Idris Elba reminds me of? He, re- at least for right now, he reminds me of like yeah. Regina Turn Hall. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. She's like, always around. Yeah, she's always around. She's always doing a movie, whether she's. 
the the supporting cast or whatever it is, she's always grinding it out. But Regina Hall really hit her. I mean, when she did Watchmen, when she did Watchmen, I was like, oh, oh that's she, Regina King. Like, all right, God damn it. Regina Hall. I, th- I mean, I like Regina Hall, too. Regina Hall. I like Regina Hall, Hall too. Yeah, that's how I like Regina Hall. Regina Hall, Regina Hall. but I'm not Regina King. I'm sorry, Regina King. Like, Regina King has always been grinded out. Like, she doing the, the voiceovers on Boondocks. Every freaking movie you could imagine of Regina King is in. But it's also got a producer coming up. And for Bitter but, Root, this comic, Bitter Root, is a black comic called Bitter Root. Y'all look it up. Mm. I already read the first volume of it. Okay, that shit is good. It's basically it's about uh, black people in the twenties. Black people, and yeah, they and they like they fighting white people, and who are infused with racism. So racism turns them into monsters. So they they a whole family of, of, of fighters. I can't even remember what the monsters were. They're monster killers, and they go around at mm-hmm. night fight fight people with, who infused with racism. But it's like it's not like. Like, like you got to read the comic, yo. No, you got to read it, yo. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. It, that's that's it's, on, it's on four. It's on four. I mean, they're making it into a, a live action, so it's going, somebody okay. like it. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But um, going back to my point, um, I, I think Misfit yeah. Mind hit the I'm thing. Right, yo. I think I'm trying to say it. Uh, Idris Elba has done a major, like, a movie to this magnitude. And for him to really uh-huh. get this role, and land it and do as well as he did. I mean, he's going to he's going to be in the next Suicide Squad. We already know that. I mean, they're doing yeah. a, another one. I mean, this one definitely they're going well, they to. They got to. They got to. I mean, oh, they'd yeah. be dumb not to. Yeah, I think so too. So, what about my man Milton that we were just talking about earlier? <laughs> I mean, look, man. Why was this dude running in the building with them? <laughs> he's <laughs> here's, here's, no here's a driver, powers. nigga. Like he's a driver, <laughs> yo. He's a, for the cause, yo. <laughs> He's supposed to stay at the bus. It's waiting for them to come back. I didn't even rip, but when I saw him run in the building when they were trying to get in with the code, I remember saying to myself, is that Milton with them? <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, yo, this dude then got whacked. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you gotta think, though, he's always there. I mean, he's there for the cause, yo. I mean, that's what he yeah. do, yo. Like, yeah. he's a part of the <laughs> resistance. Like, all the motherfuckers, there's out in the jungle with guns, yo. This ain't America, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, like other countries, like <clears throat> people here in America, we talk shit, we talk shit, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Oh, woo. I mean, our overthrowing the government, which is it was still some bullshit. It was like motherfuckers walking into the Capitol, taking pictures, taking selfies, and doing TikTok videos in in the Capitol. Mm-hmm. No, nah, in them other countries, when they overthrow, like we the rebels, like the motherfuckers out there in the bush, they out there yeah. with guns, mm-hmm. and they they like really like like. You see all these militias on TV, like, well, we, we might come down to us having to use these guns, but it don't never come down. Like other mm-hmm. countries, they really buy right. it, you know. America, we some we we not about it like everybody. Like I'm everybody glad. says, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. Right. Yeah, oh, no, no, I'm glad right, too. Right, because the um Sandinistas and all that shit down, like Colombia and all them third world countries, yo, African countries, they walk up in them oh, joints yeah. and overthrow you, and they kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, no power like, or not, yo. He was gonna go. He was he was rolling, yo. Like they was like, yo, fuck it. I'm here. I'm the driver. What's what's good? Like we here. Yeah, I was surprised, but that that he he went and rolled up in there, but he got shot and uh, it 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 hurt my man uh polka dot man, yo. He was he was he was pretty hurt from that, but uh, you know, yeah, he he saved him. He tried to save him at, at, at the club, yo. He did. <laughs> Yeah, we got another comment, man, and uh, I think we're gonna uh, wrap this show up real soon. Oh, okay, baby, we did. Okay, here yeah, we he's go. had like a lot of side parts. I mean, that I've I've liked him in, you know, like even in the MCU and everything. Um, uh, and so he's had like chances to to shine. I mean, he's like I'm looking at his IMDb, and there's like all these good movies that he's a side character in. Um, Dark Tower, yeah, was terrible. Um, right. so, um, yeah. And I, again, I don't think that was his fault. Like he's actually like the best part of that movie, but it, it was just a terrible script, um, terrible adaptation. Um, 
but yeah, like I, I think this is like his first big one that he's got to be in charge of. Um, the only other one that I was looking at like recently was he was the bad guy in Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious yeah, too. Was. Like he really ate up that role, like a uh, black Superman. He called himself or uh, my other li- favorite line he has in there is genocide, schmenocide. Like he was just having a ball with that role. <laughs> Yeah, he, oh, was, he was forgot. decent at, at Hobbs and Shaw, yo. I liked him. Yeah. That. Yeah, I forgot about that, Hobbs and Shaw. Yep, I forgot about that. All right. All right, so overall, man, I mean, I think we done hit on a pretty much all yeah. I think we – go ahead. No, man. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Just one question before we go. I know we're about to wrap yeah, it man. up. So outside of the the main character, like, you know, as far as, like, uh, Blood Sport, Peacemaker, and this and that, who do you think, like, kind of stole the show, like – Dead, live, whatever. As far as like the, the the no name superheroes, like these all these D lister Z lister celebrities. Yeah. Outside of the main ones, oh, I'll let you go, Phoenix. First, I have mine that I think um, stole the show. I have two that I think stole the show out, outside yeah. of the main ones. All right, so I'll pick one, so you can have the other one if, if it's not the same. <laughs> okay. I think I think detachable kid, yo. I don't know why I just thought that shit was hilarious when he was getting killed, yo. Like, his body just won't even touch it, and, you know. And the thing about it is, you can see the bone, like, you can see the, the joint bone. Yeah, the joint, yeah, the joint when it came out. That shit like Lego, like, like, yeah. like Lego, or, or, or your like old, Like a G.I. Joe uh, joint, you know, yeah. you put the G.I. Joe ball back in the joint? Yeah. Yeah. It was just, and it was funny, because they was like, like, what does TDK mean? Then he's like, yeah. that's that's your it's name, it. like letters. He's like, yeah, everybody he's like, has. Your yeah. name is Letters. <laughs> he's like, but no, but that, I even like when he said that shit. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. He's like, yeah. your name, your name is Letters, right? <laughs> like, right, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what it is. He said, everybody, TDK. Like, that's that's just me. So your that's name the is thing. <laughs> it was funny, and the thing about it is, is like when they realized, like, oh, you the, you that kid when he took his arms off. Oh, you the detachable right. kid. So they heard about him. <laughs> Right, you know, <laughs> and then he ended up getting murked, yo. Yeah, that was funny, man. He stole the show for me on that one, yo. Okay, that's a good one. Um, uh, th- well, okay, I was, I did not think of the detachable kid, so I was going to say King Shark for me. That's my other one. I think, yeah, King, King Shark. Shark. He's not one of the main characters, you know, out of Idris and and uh, Margot Robbie. So for me, if it wasn't detachable kid, I got to say uh, King Shark. I would love to see King Shark. Um, in another in another uh, Suicide Squad movie or any movie for that matter, I loved it. What about you, Alex? Yeah, yeah, honestly, I like Polka Dot Man. Like, I never because mm-hmm. even from the commercials, your eyes is like this motherfucker. Is not <laughs> like, this like, this is, yeah, I, I had to lie. I was thinking, I was like, yo, this is gonna be whack as fuck. Me too. But actually, Me too. He, actually, he was good with it. Like, I like how they did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything about it was. Uh, was cool and, and his acting like seeing his mama and shit like that crazy shit <laughs> and they just kept showing him even with the big ass starfish like shit whatever yeah. <laughs> like he saw his mama up there. he was like I was like yeah this dude like he's really crazy you know? he, he's yeah. crazy for real for real like yeah so yeah. I, I I enjoyed him and then also I can't lie I I like the weasel you know even though it was all quick <laughs> like from him licking the glass <laughs> yeah. When they dropped his ass and drowned quick. And then at the end, like when he got him and ran off, I was like, oh! (laughs) I was was like, go, Weasel, go! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, those that was definitely, um, I was going to say Polka Dot Man and King Shark were my two, so I I did say Polka Dot Man, so yeah, I'm with you on that one, Ali. Um, I was was hurt when Polka Man, Polka, Polka Dot Man um, didn't make it, yo. I was like, damn, yo, I want to do another one. I mean, the, the, is that his? I don't even know. I just call him Polka Dot Man. I don't even know. Does he have a, a real name, a superhero name, or anything? Uh, in the comics, well, I mean, they all have a, an altered name, but that's yeah. who he was in a he Polka Dot Man. I mean, it was. That's what I'm saying, man. James Gunn, they really found a really cool, innovative way to do this character because that's. I wonder. That was. They, you know what, Corey? Yeah, he's a real comic book character. Is he? Is yeah, he yes. a real character? He's, he's a real character. character. He's like, like crazy. Uh, Pete, Pete character. Davidson's character. Like I looked up his name. His name is Richard Hertz. Is his real name? <laughs> With the black, 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 black guard is Richard. Black guard. 
Oh, black guard. But <laughs> everybody, what's the what's the nickname for Richard? Dick. A uh, dick. Dick hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had. I wish they had played that shit in the movie. Bro. That shit. Yeah, that's that shit. That shit. And that's some. Pete, that's a Pete Stable. That's definitely a Pete <laughs> Davidson name. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they should have played on that, y'all. That's, that's good. Funny. That's good. That's good. So, what did y'all uh, think about uh, the last thing? What did you think about yeah. the starfish being the villain? Like, did y'all have any apprehension at first? Like, I don't know about the starfish being the villain. Like, this seems kind of mm. like weird, or but it ended up being good and plausible. I mean, I, I actually understood mm. what the starfish was trying to do, <laughs> and I was taking over everybody. I thought that was kind of cool. So, yeah. Uh, well, I'll go. I'll go first on this because I was actually looking at a couple of uh, uh, shows that people were talking about reviews on the Suicide Squad, and there was this one particular show, and I had to kind of uh, I could agree with them a little bit that they felt that Starfish wasn't really a villain. He was uh, uh, he he became a villain because he was forced to be in in in, in prison for like thirty years. So what happened was that yeah, when he true. finally had a chance to get out, like, he was just y'all. yeah. Because really, if you listen, if you go back and watch the movie, at the very end of the movie, right before he dies, he says, "I was happy in space, just watching the stars." And they took his ass out of space. He was just walking. Yeah. Think about it. He was space walking, taking a fucking. He was you know going for a walk in space, and they grabbed his ass and did experiments on him for thirty years. So in a way, uh, Starro is a villain, but he's a villain by like because they experimented on him for like I mean, they years. forced him. Yeah, they forced him to be a villain. Yeah. yeah. So his his anger towards humans is because that's all he saw torturing him this whole time. And if you really think about it, and when he started talking about this in his segment, I was like, damn, I didn't think about it. When he first escapes, he doesn't even kill anybody. The only person he kills is the guy, the thinker that's got the, the shit thinker. hanging out of his head. Like that, nigga was weird. that nigga was weird. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he was. Building, but he doesn't kill anybody. He only grabs one person. That's the thinker. And once he gets out, he doesn't even attack anybody until they start shooting him. And that's when he looks down. And of course, he sees a human. And that's when he goes ballistic. Like, fuck this. I'm, you know, done. So, um, but it was a cool way to make him a villain, but not a villain in the sense of the regular type villain. He was a villain in a sense of he was experimented on and he was just like, fuck fuck the world, you know, but uh, go ahead, Ollie. what are your thoughts? I mean, I'll be honest, so I don't, I like a lot of stuff about this movie, but I mean, I'm not mad at it, because it, it just, I mean, it falls in line with the movie, like, uh, as far as kind of being kind of silly, playful, whatever. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah. My, not my type of villain. <laughs> like, I can agree with that. A, a giant starfish, that's, that's just like some old Ghostbusters, uh, Marshmallow Man type shit. Stay like, come on. Marshmallow yeah, Man. it's not... I mean, it's not my tire. Like, in comedy, I roll with it. And this one, I mean, I, I wasn't mad. I mean, I shouldn't say yeah. I was a little mad, but I wasn't super mad because the rest of the movie was, was decent. So, I mean, it just wasn't my cup... I was just say it wasn't my cup of tea. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was, yeah. yeah, it was just, like, kind of silly, man. I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. Oh. I don't need to I see a I was, giant starfish. So I'm good on that shit. Y'all, y'all yo, he was, he was shooting uh, baby squares out of his armpits, yo. <laughs> that shit was <laughs> bad weird, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I, I disagree with you a little bit, Corey, because, yeah, he was, granted, they did kidnap him, and they was fucking with him in, on the airspace, and then he got on their right. face and took over the, the astronauts. <laughs> right. But when he got out the joint, he's like, yo, I'm about to take over this island. This is my island. This is my world. So he, yeah. he knew what it was when he got out. Like that could have been because he was clamped. I mean, like locked down. But when he got out, you know, he was taking. He started controlling everybody. Yo. You know what I mean? He did. You know, he 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 went ballistic. You know, and he was he was trapped in a cage. And once he got out, somebody tried to whoop him, and he just went nuts. So I'm not going to yeah. deny. I mean, but I, I did. I I will agree with you. I thought it was going to be a, a stretch to having Starro in this film, but I think they made it work. Um, but I, I originally thought like, yeah, he's a villain, you know, and I watched this thing. I was like, yo, he's bad. Yo, he's, she's trying to just take over this whole world. Yeah. But once the other person started talking about, it, I was like, you know, I can, I can kind of see where he's going with this, you know? So, but either way, um, I like Star Wars in the film. Uh, this is a one and done for him. So he ain't coming back no more, but maybe he got a baby yeah. starfish in the space somewhere, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. 
<laughs> yeah, um, we got one more comment, and then I think uh, we'll just wrap this up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that, that uh, Starro like thing, because I mean, that's what America does. We go to other countries, fuck their shit up. You know, they want retaliation against us. And then, you know, we we like we're like, wow, why do they hate us so much? It's like, motherfucker, because we went up in their shit and now they of course they would hate Americans. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's in the movie, too. That's not just me projecting yeah. like. You know, the fact that John Cena's character wanted to cover that shit up and, yep. you know, like, yeah, Starro was happy in space and we had to go and experiment on him and then trying to cover that shit up, too. Um, it's just, yeah. I mean, even the the scene where, like, they take out those, like, freedom fighters and it's like, whoops. And they're like, this is what you Americans do. You just come in here. And I mean, that was like a funny scene. Don't get me wrong. But I think there was a lot of, like, deeper elements in the movie that you know, people aren't talking about, but it's in there. It's definitely in there. Definitely agree with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can just feel it. Yeah, they definitely side all that shit. Like you said, especially with, the, like, the camp, when she was like, yo, that's oh. what y'all just come in and do it. Like, cause they just, <laughs> we just come in guns blazing. It don't matter. Guns blazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, remember, hey, they killed that dude in the bathtub, yo. That shit was funny, though. <laughs> nah, he, he, he shot, shoot him, yo. He he shot shoot the fan. Yeah, he shot the fan. I was like, oh, I see you playing. Oh, yeah, that was, that was good. that was good. No lie. I mean, but yeah, um, uh, Misfit, you made, you, good point, man. You're right. Um, even though there was comedy there, and but there's there's some truth there. A lot of truth there. There's some underlying truth, truth about how we that in jest, yo. Yeah, man. That. So James Gunn definitely definitely knew what he was doing by planting that seed throughout. So. Yeah, man, good comment. But yeah, man, the way he killed that dude in the bathtub was fucking dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Well, anyway, um, anything else, fellas? Anything else you're going to talk, uh, hit on before we end the show? Nah, man, I we thought good. it was a great we're movie, good. man. Yeah, I yeah, thought my... it was a great movie. All right, so this is how we're going to, um, yeah. you know, I'm going to give my rating out of 10 uh, just to kind of, you know, uh, to just let everybody know kind of where I'm feeling out of 10, I really, I, I give this movie like an 8. Um, and if I continue to rewatch it, it might even go up further because every time I watch the movie, I, I enjoy it more and more. But right off the gate, um, I'm giving this movie an 8. Um, Ali, what would you give this movie out of 10? Uh, I give it an 8, too. I'm, I'm right there with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a strong 8, so uh, yeah. I can't... I mean, it's not really wrong. I mean, it's certain things is just... I think it's more of preference type shit. Like me, like like right. uh, the main villain, like the right. you know marshmallow man, starfish bullshit. <laughs> but again, that's I think that's just more preference because it, it falls in line with the movie. That's why I can't hate it too much because the movie mm -hmm. itself is is all kind of has that same uh, feel to it. You know what I mean? If it would have been right. like a super super serious dark villain, it probably wouldn't have fell in line. I mean, with how the movie. How he did the movie, you know what I'm saying? I can't even. Mm -hmm. If you know what I'm, you know what I mean. I know that, even though I, I ain't said, I'm, I ain't saying shit, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. But you. like the feeling of the movie, like how you know what I'm saying, it was a playful. It was a playful movie, even though it was right. gruesome, a lot of deaths, a lot of cursing, mm -hmm. this and that. At the same time, it really was a playful movie, so it all mm -hmm. it all fell in line. So I definitely give it a strong eight. I like I like everything. Right. I mean, about it for real, for real. All right, that's what's up, Phoenix. What about you, man? I agree. I give it an eight. Like, um, but that's the thing about it. I'm glad it got the Suicide Squad right this time. Yeah. Like I said, like if you ever watched the DC uh, cartoon versions of the Suicide Squad, they had two Suicide Squad movies. Both of them were great. Like, uh, I think one was uh, Attack on Arkham or something like that, and another one mm -hmm. Harley Quinn was in. It was, had you got to watch them, yo. And, and it's hard okay. to get when well, you have a whole bunch of characters in there. You got somebody got to yeah. die. And yeah. I think the the characters they chose to die were like you said, D list D list characters. Yeah. But their deaths were funny though. Like everybody's death was funny. Like Pete Davidson was like, yo, I set him up. Here you go, I'm delivering. They bow, get his face shot off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was so, like, oh damn, that's I know. I, I agree with Ali, yo. It was it was campy, but it was had serious mm -hmm. undertones, but it was enjoyable for him from beginning to end in my opinion. All right. That's what's up, man. Um so, uh, what do you give it out of ten? Eight, eight. Okay, every yeah, eight across the board. Two legs. Yeah. 
Triple H, man. Yeah. We're eight across the board. So, yeah, strong movie for me. Um, it was campy, but the tone of the movie, everything fit for me. I really enjoyed this movie from beginning to end. And like I said, um, it's a strong eight for me right now. But as I continue to watch this movie, it could go up, you know. So, uh, good job, man. Let's do it. Um, but other than that, man, um, I think that'll do it. So, uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to This Is It podcast. Um, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment. We definitely want to see what uh, people are talking about. Did you like the movie? Did you not like the movie? Did the movie suck? Did it not suck? Let us know. Uh, share your thoughts on that. Um, also, you can find us on all streaming platforms, including Spotify, Google, Apple, and Anchor. You can follow me always yes, on Instagram at Corey Roy underscore. Ali, where can they find you, brother? You can find me at this underscore is underscore it underscore podcast. On Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Follow the page, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I got to stop saying, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody knows the fuck I'm saying when I got the <laughs> moment in my head. But either way, it is what it is. We out here, you know what I'm saying? Glad, Always glad to get with the fellas. And, you know, it's it ain't a lot of recording this on the Wednesday night. I'm about to get off here, watch my Mary with First Sight. They on the honeymoons. I've been waiting for this video a month. Like, Mary <laughs> First Sight is so horrible the first month. This had to be, like, yeah. one of the worst shows ever the first month. Once they get on that honeymoon, that's when the motherfuckers start arguing, and yeah. I start tuning in. It's, I'm, it's <laughs> fucked up. But that's when you start seeing fail. The beginning yeah. and the end. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's what's up. All right, man. So, uh, Phenom, man, where can they find you, brother? Yo, Phenom202, yo, you can catch me on all social media sites, man. It's so funny how, like, you know, we all suburban dudes and we got our vices, yo. It's so crazy, yo. Like, married at first sight, you would never think, uh, out of you know, he, you know, he, he does his job, you know, raises his kids, but yeah. after the night, he, he a ratchet woman, yo, un, under all that, yo. You got, you got, you got to watch him married, married at first sight, yo. <laughs> It's crazy. It is, I it think is, all man. of us got that because yeah. I've watched like Married to Medicine and all that shit. I mean, there's a lot of shows I watched like that too, and I shouldn't yeah. be watching it because I, I don't yeah. like projecting it, like what people should do in their marriage because you know everybody's right. marriage is not perfect. But man, just watching nah, this crazy. I don't watch. I don't watch. I don't watch that bullshit. Hey, I watch Married at First Sight. Yo, I stick with the fakes. No, I'm just fucking with y'all. Yeah, yeah, I pick. I can only pick one, so this is the one I watch. I'm like, yo, fuck it. This shit is funny. It's, I mean, it's entertaining. It shouldn't be, yeah, but I'm like, you don't want us to sign up to a show to get married without meeting the person. Yeah, you know, you deserve you everything you did, that man. happened. Hey, yo, yo, and you already know they're doing this shit for TV. Oh, they about to match your ass yeah. with somebody to make some good TV. <laughs> like, like they're not matching you all up to... So everybody can be lovey dovey. Like, don't nobody yeah, want to see no They ain't match you up. No, they ain't match you up. I, yeah. I mean, I just say marriage is boring, but you know, marriage is boring. Like everyday life, normal everyday life is just like normal everyday life. Like, don't nobody want to see that shit. We want to see somebody right, get right. a TV thrown at their ass. Yo, why, why did you come home last night? Ah, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't come home. I don't want to oh, watch your ass come home and eat salads. <laughs> well, well, yeah. we, got, we got one more comment, and then we're going to end the show. Let's see. We oh, got yeah. here. Yeah, I just wanted to say, great show, guys. Um, yeah, I followed all you guys, and um, yeah, I would just uh, welcome you guys to follow me back. And I do a show every Saturday. We actually did a Suicide Squad uh, okay. episode double feature with um, Slither which is an earlier okay. James Gunn film. And um, yeah, I would recommend that to anybody out there um, on our show, Saturday Matinee, Misfit Minded here, Cisco um, and Edwin, my, my co-host. And yeah, um, I'll be checking you guys out in the future too because um, I ha had a lot of fun with this. So um, thanks guys. You guys are friends, as King Shark would say. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, peace out guys. Have a good night. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, Miss yeah, definitely get to follow man. back. We definitely get to yes, follow back. Yes, sir. Back. We'll definitely gonna check you out, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. And thank you for everybody, man, listening, tuning into the show. And look, that'll do it, family. And if you don't know, now you know, as we say in the beginning of the show, we'll say at the end of the show, we bring you that black dad energy, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.